All right, guys, today we are working on a Nissan ECM. It is from a 2008 Maxima. Those are the numbers on it. Uh, I did take the case off of one and looked at the chip here. We had to get the number off of it. I don't know if that'll focus enough that you can see that or not. We got it uh, pinned out to the Godiad uh, GT100 breakout box. Got the power supply there. Right here is our pinout that we used. Um, I found one for a 350Z, same uh, same ECM and pinout. We need 12 volt for ignition. K line there on 85, can low, can high. 86 and 94 12 volt solid uh, all-time power and then these two are ground we're gonna use PCM flash and what we're gonna do today is we are going to disable the security on this uh, the customer said that they're having problems with security they can't program any keys for it can't get the vehicle running um, on this ECM you cannot just alter the EEPROM on it. You actually have to change some stuff in the hex code to make it work. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a... Well, I'll show you this right here. We're going to use module 15. And on our chip, it was a SH7058. So we're going to select that one, and then we're going to hit read. And we might want to turn our ignition switches on. Okay, once you got it uh, to this point where it's red everything, it asks you to turn off the ignition switches. I'll turn those off. Press OK. Save our file here. So then we're gonna come down here to HXD and open that up. And this is our file that we just saved. I already opened it. Um, then we're gonna go to, I'm gonna go to um, file tools. Uh, hold on. Compare here. And I have another file that I've already disabled the security on which is right here open this one up and this line right here zero 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 eight zero four zero second one in is going to be oh one that's security on we're going to change that to zero zero which is security off that's gonna allow this car to start without a chipped key. Uh, if you can't, if you lost the keys and you can't program any new keys, this is gonna disable that security. So you can fire this thing up, and it will run. Uh, you will have the red light on the dash for the security, but it will run without issue. So over here. We're going to change this to 00. zero. We're going to go File, Save As. I am going to go off. Save that. I'm going to 
close this and come over here and we're gonna go select that file that we just saved right here open it and we're gonna write it turn your ignitions on Press. And this part, guys, is where you want to make sure that you have a good, solid power supply. If you're using one of those cheap Chinese ones, uh, if you've watched my other video, this is where you're going to have issues. It's going to fail, and you're going to end up bricking the ECM, and then you won't be able to write it again until you uh, write the original software with a, a dealer tool or uh, some other sort of tool that'll write the original file to it. Um, and even then, I, don't, I guess, I'm just guessing you'll have to do that. I, I don't know for sure if the dealer tool will even unbrick it at that point with Nissan. I know it will with most other brands, um, but I guess I'm not sure with Nissan. I just assume that it will. You might, uh, you might actually ruin the ECM altogether. I don't know. In case anybody's wondering, we're using the Scanmatic 2 Pro clone. Uh, I believe it's like 80 to $100. Uh, depends on if you get it off eBay or Amazon or um, on AliExpress. If you get it on, uh, I believe it's AliExpress that it's the cheapest. Uh, but you gotta wait a couple weeks to get it. I think you can get it for like fifty nine ninety nine even now. Uh, you just gotta be careful not to hook it up to the new software. Uh, the newest software that you can use with it is PCM Flash one point two, I believe, um, and the the Scanmatic software here when you install it. This software you got to make sure that you don't install the new stuff. You install the only the old stuff. If you even open that Scanmatic with uh, the, the new updated Scanmatic and plug your unit in, it will brick the unit. And I've done it. <laughs> you can save it with, uh, with an easy link, flash the firmware back to it. But uh, then you have to order the easy link and, and jump through all those hoops. So so just don't do it. So we're gonna turn off our ignition switches. Go ahead, okay. Complete successfully. Now we can take that thing out, plug it into the car, and fire it right up with a valet key uh, or a normal metal key or any chipped key. Uh, it'll fire right up. It'll run just fine. Uh, you don't have to program any keys to it. This uh, works really well. Um, a lot of the 350Zs, guys are stripping them out and making them drift cars. So this works really well for those. Uh, I believe it works on the 03 to 06 Nissan 350Zs, the Infiniti G35s, um, and then also these uh, Nissan Maximas. I think it's 06 to 2008. Uh, basically any, any of the Nissan ECMs that have this uh, this style pinout um, or plug on the ECMs and uh, right around those years sh should work on and when you pull up the, the hex file you should be able to see when you get to that line if it uh, if it isn't a zero one 
um, it's probably not going to work for you. If it is a zero one, go ahead and change it to the zero zero, flash it. Uh, if it doesn't work, you can always go back and rewrite the saved file. Um, but this has worked on everything I've tried it on so far. Um, interested to see? Comment below if you if you have some other models that it uh, also works on that are verified. Alright, have a good one guys.